Pittman and today I want to go ahead and try to bring in an outside texture into this um, this object, this bowl that I've created um, and apply the outside texture as a glass and using a little bit of mixture of glass shader along with that to try and create a certain element here. So here we go, I have this bowl that I created. First I created out of NUR a NURBS curve and then I modified it and converted it to poly a polygonal shape as you see here. Very even all the way around, it's around 1400 polygons altogether. And I have this in this box with a checkerboard um, texture along with the box so that you have something to kind of bounce off of it when we create the texturing. So first off, let's go to the render settings to go to this button right up here near the right and I'm just going to use the Maya software make sure that is selected check the tab here under Maya software go to quality go down to production quality and go down to where it says ray tracing quality make sure ray tracing is selected okay so now I'm going to go ahead and go here go to window rendering editors hypershade and you see I have a number of things here already created I have um, a Lambert for these for the box and you already have the default Lambert as you start out with and I created two Fong materials that we're going to be using. One is going to be used for the actual texture that we're going to apply. We're going to um, apply a projection map and the other is going to be for around the lip and the inside of the of the material. Okay so first off let's go ahead and set up both of them. So I'm going to go ahead to this fong here. This is the one that I'm going to bring the material to. I'm going to go ahead and set up certain parameters up for it before I even apply the material to that fong. I'm going to change the transparency up. Not so much. Almost half because basically you need some of the you need the parameters of that file to come through. Now we might have to change this again once we bring the file in. But I'm just going to bring the transparency up a little bit. You still want it to have a little bit of translucence through it. Cosine power, we're going to put around maybe 24, 25. Just move the slider. Specular color, move it all the way up to as light as it can go. Okay. And reflectivity, going to make that around 0 0.8. Just going to move the slider, or you can type in 0 0.8, whichever is better for you. And I'm going to go down here to ray trace options. Make sure you go down to ray trace options and select click refractions. I'm going to make the refraction index 1.5. Refraction limit 10, the highest. Light absorption around 2. Again you can just type it in or move the slider to around 2. And surface thickness roughly around 0.1. Or you can just move the slider again to around 0.1. Okay so that is the limit that I want for that. I'm going to go to the second fong which is going to be the material for the inside of the of the bowl here and this time I'm going to bring the color up not fully dark but almost all the way up transparency I'm going to bring this almost all the way up not fully you want to keep a little bit of opaqueness to it so you can still see the material and Let's go down here to cosine power again, roughly around, move it around 25. Specular color, bring it all the way up to as light as it can go. Reflectivity, again around 0.8. And go down to ray tracing options, make sure you select ray tracing. Refraction index, around 1.5. Refraction limit, bring that up to 10. Light absorption, around 2 and the surface thickness around 0.1. Okay, so now we have these settings for our two materials. The one where we're going to apply an actual texture to and the other one I'm just going to simply leave as a shader. Okay, so now we have that together. Let's go ahead and get to work here. So first thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and apply this material along the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to orbit around this and go in here. And I'm going to go to Edit, go to the Paint Selection tool. Okay, and it should open up over here. Oh, sorry about that. I forgot to select the object first. Let me select the object first. Hold down the right mouse button, go to Faces. Now, okay, let's go to